Here we are chilling. A couple miles out, Long Beach is pretty visible. Beautiful day, dead of winter, January 10th. About 76, 77 degrees, and we're heading on out. As you can see, we got our nets flowing, ready to go. Well stocked. A lot of wind this weekend. So, as you can see, Catalina pretty visible out there. A little shaky. That is one big ass lobster out there. It's like your little toy, Jesse. Give it a little kiss, Jess. Come on. Just give it a little kiss. Aw, see? See how nice we are to the lobsters? Then we'll drop them in hot oil and deep fry them. All right, guys, after the catch here, so what we're going to go ahead and do is show you our first recipe. We're going to make a lobster bisque today. And what I'm doing here is making a lovely stock. Got a couple of bugs in there, a couple of carrots, some onion, celery, garlic. You know, I always think it's a good idea also. Get yourself some fresh herbs in there. Never hurts. So I'm going to go ahead and cut off a little bit of this rosemary that we have growing here. If I can cut it off. There we go. Nice. So we'll take that back in here. Drop that in. Just add a little bit of aroma to the flavor. So what we're going to do is just, I'm going to let this simmer for a while now. I actually have a couple lobster bodies two lobster tails in here. So I'm going to let the tails cook for a little bit just to where they're almost done and I'm going to pull those out for my meat for my bisque and maybe half of one what I'll do is actually make a little lobster appetizer with that as well. We'll see if you get to see that one. Catch up in a minute. Alright guys what I did here is I strained out my stock. This is the lobster stock that's probably I don't know two quarts or so. So we got plenty of that and it smells delicious. A lot of that we're going to use for the bisque and we'll have plenty of leftovers. You can always make some good soups and stews out of that. And I went ahead and I chopped up our two lobster tails. And that's more than enough for the bisque. So what I did with one of the actual half tails, I, I took a tail, cut it in half. And I chopped it up and I did a quick ghetto style Mexican lobster cocktail. We got some cucumber, some white onion, and I didn't have any tomato juice. So I just went ahead and used some Bloody Mary mix. Always have that on hand. <laughs> And uh, let's see, aside from the cubes and tomatoes, put some garlic powder in there, hot sauce, and uh, a little splash of the 1800. So I'm going to go ahead and call this a drunken lobster cocktail. So I want to get ahead and just uh, stir it all that up. I've got it nice and integrated. And i got a nice big margarita glass here. I'm just going to go ahead and fill that on up. And that looks delicious. going to go ahead and take this over. Serve that with my, to my sweetheart here, my beautiful fiance, Stephanie. Say hi, baby. Hi, baby. <laughs> and there we go. Little cheese plate, lobster cocktail. You couldn't ask for anything better than that. All right, as we begin to build our bisque here, what I've done is I've finely diced some carrot and some onion, about a cup of each, and we sauteed those in some butter. Got them nice and soft. We're going to let those sit for a little bit, and we're going to begin to build our soup base, and to do that, we're going to start with the roux. The roux is going to make a nice, thick soup base, give it a little color and a lot of flavor. The roux is just basically equal parts butter and flour. So I've got our butter in there, and I like to add the flour just a little bit at a time. Once it's in, I'll stir to incorporate that. This will take a couple of minutes here. So I've got a little bit of You just want it to clump up. As long as it doesn't clump up, you should be good to go. A little bit more flour in there. Stir to combine that. And the main thing is you just want to keep this moving. Do not stop stirring because it will then burn for sure. And I'm doing this over high heat, okay? And as you can see, it's starting to get a nice good color on it already, okay? And in just a minute or two, we will have a good base to build our bisque off of. 
So I'm going to continue to stir that and get it nice and brown, and I'll be back with you in just a moment. All right, our roux is nice and brown, and so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start incorporating the stock. And I got four cups of our beautiful lobster stock. Look at how thick that is. That's delicious. So we're going to just slowly add that in there. I'm not going to just dump it all in at once. You know, you want to slowly stir to incorporate it. Make sure it doesn't lump up. Make it nice and smooth. Don't scrape down the sides. Add a little bit more in. And that's looking delicious. We're going to go ahead and get this going. And as we do that, I will then add in our veggies. Let those simmer for a little bit with a few other ingredients. And I'll show you what we got in a second. Okay, we're going to set this to simmer. We got four cups of lobster stock. We've got the roux we made. We've got the carrots and onions. Let that simmer for about 20 minutes, and then we will incorporate the rest of our ingredients. All right, guys, so what we're going to do is finish this off. Get the rest of our ingredients here. Quarter cup, heavy cream. That's going to go into the stock that we've been doing. A couple of dashes of Worcestershire sauce. Not too scientific here, as you can see. A little bit of wine, as you can see. All my meals so far have alcohol in them. Nothing wrong with that. Cayenne pepper. There's a wrong with cayenne pepper. I like it a little bit spicy. Not too spicy, but just enough to give a little bit of flavor. Get a little sea salt in there. A little bit of lemon. I'll run that through my fingers and make sure we don't get any seeds in there. And then I'll do it. So we'll stir all that together. We'll check in with you guys in a couple of minutes and I'll show you what the finished product looks like. But so far, it's looking pretty good. Alright guys, just finished up here. Sid is now spooning a couple of delicious bowls of our lobster bisque. What we'll do to finish that is just a little sprinkle, some fresh chives from the garden. Got a home cooked loaf of some white bread here ready to eat and we are ready for dinner. So enjoy guys, we'll see ya out there on the water.